was kneeling or squatting here at the foot of the bed, making the bed up when the attack began. They also felt that the blow to the front left side of her face was the first one that was struck. Logic dictates that she was facing her murderer the same way that I'm facing all of you. And she was not frightened enough of her situation or uncomfortable enough with it to try and get away until it was too late. And again, it's one of those points that I'm going to leave you to ponder on your own. After the attack began, Mrs. Borden did try to get away. She crawled further into this area. Now, you might have noticed that the area between the bed and the bureau is actually pretty narrow. It's only about 32 inches in here. And uh, to put this delicately, Mrs. Borden was not a narrow woman. The police believed that in order to fit into this space with her, her attacker probably had to straddle her body and hold her down with a knee to her back to deliver the other 18 blows to the back of her head and neck.